All right, this video I'll show you guys how I do uh, just a kind of a quick little uh, bluegill pattern. So I start out, I've already got the bill taped and uh, um, painted white with uh, transparent white Cretex paint. So I next thing I do is um, I got a pearlized pineapple, a yellow, the same color I start out with the perch, if you've seen that video. But uh, just kind of hit it and we'll go from there. And don't worry about the bottom, we'll come back in with some oranges and stuff on the bottom. And <clears throat> uh, basically, just kind of hit the upper, the top part of the body. So, do that, and then... So next I got this uh, tropical green, it's a uh, um, transparent tropical green from Cretex also. So, I go and I'll, I'll go to the top and just a little bit down the sides. And it really looks nice after um, coming off the pearlized paint too, so it gives it a little better touch added feature compared to spraying it without the pearl underneath it. Nothing too crazy, don't don't need to completely cover anything with it, but just a nice little accent it'll give a lot of oil do a lot of purple over the top of this too, so a lot of it really won't be seen a whole lot. So next I go in with uh, a pearlized gold and just kinda towards the back, if you've got good reference photos it helps a lot. But I've got a few of them that I look at always and uh, that I've printed off if you just Google and then the images of whatever bait or fish you're trying to, uh, you're after. So uh, just a little bit of gold towards the end of the tail, the base of the tail. Nothing too much again, you know, just enough to, sometimes less is more. So, you know, it's hard to see probably on the camera, but yeah, it's there. And <clears throat> so next we'll... Um, do some scale mask. Alright, so I've got the scale mask on there now attached with the alligator clip. So we'll go, I just got a um, transparent purple and uh, and we'll go put that, go ahead and put the stripes on there. I'll use the trusty old comb again. So um, basically if you've seen a few other videos how, how I use the comb to add stripes. So <clears throat> just kind of line it up to wherever I like, like I, I like to use the gill plate for a, a good reference point. So just uh, hold it up there and, and spray lightly, you know, a little less air pressure, that way you don't get too much paint on there, but, and then, so there's your stripes, and then go ahead and we'll do the other side too, but, um, and then we'll fade it from the top and kind of get that stuff worked in there, but, So there's the stripes on both sides now, and then, like I said, we'll we'll start at the top here, at the top of the bait, and then uh, just slowly add a little more more color as we go, and then just slowly down the sides. I like to just a little bit, you know. You don't have to get too carried away, but and then I like to kind of get the gill plate a little bit too. We'll go back and add some white to that. So basically that's about all we'll do with the purple and the purple and just like every color once you spray it over the um, pearlized paint it really it adds a different effect to it so it's you know it, you just got to experiment with different paints and colors and how they interact with each other and um, but yeah it really it really pops it seems to give it a little more you know shine I guess so all right we'll go there and then we'll just add a little bit of white to the bottom of the gills and then a little bit of blue around the eyes so <coughs> All right, so now once we got the stripes and the purple down the sides, I like to add a little bit, just try to get a little bit of white around the um, bottom of the gill plate and kind of towards the front. So go ahead and do that. And... and once again, you don't have to get too carried away. You know, some, like I said, less is more. So uh, you'll notice it once you take the... Uh, 
scale mask off so it, it's and it's just a nice effect that it gives okay so there's that and then we'll go ahead and put a little bit of blue around the eyes okay so I got just a little bit uh, kind of a baby blue that I've got mixed up and and we'll go ahead and just kind of get it right around the eyes a, a little bit So there's that, and then we'll go ahead and take the mask off, and um, we'll add a little bit of orange to the bottom, and we'll be done. Okay, so now we got, uh, if you need to, now's the time you're going to want to go and add uh, white to the bottom of your bait to, if you uh, got any scratches on there or, and just didn't get quite enough when you uh, first coated it. But now I'll add a little bit of orange uh, at the throat, the belly, and, and kind of work it back to the belly a little bit. And this is just, uh, um, uh, I don't know what color this actually is called, but, uh, whoop, um, wicked, it's just a wicked color, one of the only wicked colors that I own, orange, it just kind of caught my eye one day, but, any orange will do, I guess. I'm just kind of work it back. want to get a little towards on the uh, front side of the belly so the side profile shows a little bit of orange too now finally I like to just add a little bit I got pearl white or platinum white I guess it's called now but it's pearl platinum but and then to just hit the whole bottom again and uh, start even the orange so and there that's that's it